Like this is the Nabi which you and I claim to follow. When we hear outside, your Nabi Nawazubillah is a madman, he's a woman. But what defense do we have? What can we say to even make some defense? If we have some knowledge, maybe we can defend. And our learning is not to debate. It's a hack of Rasulullah that we know about his life. But what see that are we discussing in our homes at the family at the moment? What discussions are taking place in this month of Rabi Lawal? If not in Rabi Lawal, then when? Every day should be a Rabi Lawal, not just Rabi Lawal. It's not just about Bara Rabi Lawal, distribute plates of our Lalu and Matai and say, Alhamdulillah, Ashik Rasul. But you know what the by asal ishq is that you make ida'at of the Prophet That's really ida'at, that's really ishq. By humare guru me dekho, yaar sunat ke janaze nikal rahe. Main tar, I'm saying this out of dar, I'm not, I'm not saying, if I'm not telling anyone off, I'm not happy with God, by dar do rahe. Because we claim to follow the deen of Allah. Khud jai zalo yaar, where's our shabab, where's our youngsters? Where are the Muslim youth? Where are the Muslim youth from tooting? Where are they? Go to your main road, go outside. Go to your local, and now we'll go to the place in the, the dens of vice. You will see our sisters there, you will see our brothers there. You question them about the deen of Allah, they have no knowledge. And we're more worried about building big, big properties, extending the minarets. But it makes them worry and concern for our shabab and our youth. But you fit up, we need to fix up. Are we base each other's success purely on wealth? Mashallah, he's got a very big business. Or he's got a couple of houses. Or Mashallah, he's got a big bank balance. Na'uzubillah, is this the, the criteria for success? Allah gives, fine. If Allah doesn't give, we will make sabr. Rasulullah mentioned, Arada Ali Rabbi an yaj'ala badha amaka dhahaba. There was, there was faqa, there was hunger in the life of the Prophet Sallallahu He would, even if I had once in a day, I would never eat a second time to my fill. And he was like this until the day he died. Sahaba knew poverty, they knew difficulty. But this was a test, my dear brothers. He mentions Allah Ta'ala offered me and said, I will make the mountains of Makkah gold. And he mentions, no Allah, I, will, I want, I want what I do, I eat one day and I make sugar. And if I'm hungry one day, I will make sabr. This is what I want to do. If I eat one day, I will make sugar and I will praise you. And if I don't, well then I will make sabr and I will, and I will pray to you. But I don't want the mountain of gold to be turned for me. Because someone would say, your prophet was rich, so how can you follow deen? He opted for Gurbani, he opted for Mujahada. Even when he's the Ummah al Mu'minin said to Rasulullah we just want you to increase our allowance a little bit. Just increase it a little bit. They weren't looking for the latest Bima, they weren't looking for the latest uh, Italian, uh, the Spanish tires and the Italian uh, en suites and the, and the leather sofas from Badanika and the calligraphy from Turkey. They were asking just to increase our allowance, just so our spines and our backs stay straight, just so we can have enough food to eat. Rasulullah was so naraz, he separated himself for 29 days. Because in effect they're asking, reduce our mujahada. Allah's vassal of his ayat was coming because of mujahada. By Absamangi, he put his own family through the difficulty. As a Namuna, as an example, so let it not be the 21st century Muslim in Tuvin can say, I can't practice on deen, brother, it's too tough. Okay, you haven't got 10 houses, but you've got a roof over your head. You got clothes on your back, you got food on your table, but how much more shukri we want to make? Where were you 50 years ago? Riding on some donkey in some village? In some God, in God, in some Chuck, in some ground, where were you? Where did Allah bring you to now? What is the condition of the Ummah? We're seeing the youngsters outside. What difference does this make in my life? What difference does it make in our communities? Where are our mothers? Where are our sisters? Where are the Shabab of the Ummah? Where are the youth? We cut off from the life of the Prophet. Allah, Allah save us. Allah, Allah give us hidayat and guidance.